In the heart of the Alaskan wilderness, where the rugged terrain meets the endless expanse of sky, there existed a small community known as Nome. It was a place of untamed beauty and unforgiving landscapes, where the echoes of the past mingled with the whispers of the present. Among its residents was Josephine Jo Sundberg, a young mother whose laughter echoed through the streets like music. Jo had grown up in Nome, her childhood spent exploring the wilds with a sense of wonder and curiosity that knew no bounds. But beneath her free-spirited demeanor lay a fierce determination, a strength forged by the challenges of life in the last frontier. It was a crisp morning in June 1984 when Jo set out for a walk with her infant daughter, the soft cooing of her baby filling the air with joy. The sun hung low on the horizon, casting long shadows across the landscape as mother and daughter strolled along the familiar path. As they ventured deeper into the wilderness, a sense of unease settled over Joe, feelings feeling she couldn't get rid of. She glanced nervously over her shoulder, her senses on high alert as the rustling of leaves seemed to echo in the stillness of the forest. Suddenly, without warning, a dense fog descended from the heavens, enveloping Joe and her daughter in a shroud of mist. Panic surged through Joe's veins as she realized they were lost, disoriented in a sea of swirling shadows. Frantically, Joe searched for a way out, her heart pounding in her chest as the cries of her baby pierced the eerie silence. But no matter which direction she turned, there was only darkness, a sense of foreboding that seemed to swallow her whole. Hours turned into days, and days into weeks. But there was no sign of Joe or her daughter. Search parties scoured the wilderness, their shouts swallowed by the howling winds as they searched for any trace of the missing mother and child. But as time passed, hope began to fade, replaced by a haunting sense of loss. Despite the efforts of the community, Joe's disappearance remained a mystery. Rumors swirled, speculation ran rampant, but no one could say for certain what happened to her on that fateful day in June. Her family was left to grapple with the agonizing uncertainty, forever haunted by the question of what became of Josephine Sundberg and her infant daughter. Years passed, but Joe's memory lived on in the hearts of those who loved her. Her disappearance served as a sobering reminder of the dangers that lurked in the wilderness. A cautionary tale whispered among the residents of Nome. And though the truth may never be known, Joe's spirit remained a guiding light in the darkness, a beacon of hope for those who refuse to give up the search. In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains lies Great Smoky Mountains National Park, a sprawling wilderness teeming with lush forests, cascading waterfalls, and rugged peaks. It's a place of breathtaking beauty, but also one of hidden dangers and untold mysteries. One such mystery revolves around the disappearance of a young boy named Dennis Martin, on June 14, 1969, Dennis, a six-year-old from Knoxville, Tennessee, embarked on a family camping trip to the park. Joined by his father, grandfather, and older brother, Dennis was eager to explore the vast expanse of wilderness that awaited them. The Martins set up camp near Spence Field, a remote area nestled high in the mountains. As evening fell, the family settled in for the night the crackling of the campfire and the gentle rustle of leaves providing a soothing backdrop to their adventure. But as the night wore on, tragedy struck. In a moment of carelessness, Dennis's older brother threw a stick into the woods as a prank, hoping to startle his family. When Dennis failed to reappear after the stick was thrown, the Martins grew concerned and began searching for him. As the days went by, the search for Dennis intensified, drawing in hundreds of volunteers, park rangers, and even military personnel. Despite their best efforts, no sign of Dennis was ever found, leaving his family and the community heartbroken and bewildered. In the days and weeks that followed, numerous theories emerged to explain Dennis's disappearance. Some speculated that he had fallen victim to a wild animal attack, while others believed he had wandered off into the dense forest and became lost. But perhaps the most chilling theory was that Dennis had been abducted by a stranger, a possibility that sent shivers down the spines of all who heard it. Despite extensive search efforts and countless hours spent combing the rugged terrain, Dennis's fate remains unknown to this day. His disappearance continues to haunt Great Smoky Mountains National Park, 
a tragic reminder of the dangers and mysteries that remain unsolved. As visitors flock to the park to admire its natural beauty and explore its hidden wonders, they do so with a sense of caution and reverence for the young boy who vanished without a trace. And though Dennis Martin may be gone, his memory lives on in the hearts of those who loved him, a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the enduring power of hope. In the arid expanse of the Mojave Desert, Joshua Tree National Park stands as a rugged sanctuary of twisted rock formations, ancient Joshua trees, and haunting beauty. But beneath its serene facade lies a realm of peril and mystery, where the unforgiving landscape has claimed the lives of many who dared to venture into its depths. Among the most perplexing cases is the disappearance of Rachel Nagoyan and Joseph Orbeso. In late July 2017, Rachel and Joseph, both in their early 20s, embarked on a hiking adventure in Joshua Tree National Park. The park's stark beauty and otherworldly landscapes beckoned to them, promising an escape from the stresses of everyday life and a chance to commune with nature. Setting out from the Maze Loop Trailhead, Rachel and Joseph ventured into the vast wilderness, their spirits high and their backpacks filled with supplies for the journey ahead. They planned to explore the Maze Loop Trail, a rugged route that winds through a maze of towering rock formations and narrow canyons. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting long shadows across the desert landscape, Rachel and Joseph pressed on, eager to reach their campsite before nightfall. But as darkness descended, their footsteps grew uncertain and the rugged terrain became increasingly treacherous. Hours turned into days and days into weeks. There was no sign of Rachel and Joseph Concerned friends and family alerted park authorities, who launched an extensive search effort involving helicopters, canine units, and experienced trackers. Despite their best efforts, no trace of the missing hikers was ever found, leaving their loved ones to ponder the uncertainty of their fate. As the months passed, the mystery only deepened. In October 2017, nearly three months after Rachel and Joseph went missing, their bodies were discovered in a remote canyon within the park. They were found locked in a final embrace, the remains partially covered by clothing and backpacks. The discovery sent shockwaves through the community, raising more questions and answers about what happened to Rachel and Joseph during their fateful hike. Autopsy reports revealed that they had died from gunshot wounds, but the circumstances surrounding their deaths remain shrouded in mystery. There were theories ranging from a tragic accident to foul play. Some suggested that Rachel and Joseph had become disoriented and succumbed to the harsh desert conditions, while others speculated that they had encountered a dangerous individual or group during their hike. Despite ongoing investigations by law enforcement, the truth behind Rachel and Joseph's disappearance and death may never be fully known, serving as a reminder of the dangers that lurk in nature. Deep within the United States, nestled among the rolling hills and dense forests, lie some of the most picturesque landscapes the country has to offer, state parks. These natural wonders draw millions of visitors each year, eager to explore their beauty and soak in the tranquility of nature. But beneath their serene facade lies a darker truth, a truth that has puzzled investigators and haunted families for decades mysterious disappearances of individuals who vanish without a trace, leaving behind only questions and speculation in their wake. One such case that has captivated the nation is that of Stacy Aris. Stacy was a vibrant young woman with a passion for adventure and a love for the great outdoors. In April 1981, she set out on a solo camping trip to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, eager to lose herself in the beauty of the wilderness. But as the days passed and Stacy failed to return home, her family grew increasingly concerned. They alerted park authorities, who launched a massive search effort involving helicopters, tracking dogs, and hundreds of volunteers. Despite their best efforts, no sign of Stacy was ever found, leaving her loved ones to grapple with the agonizing uncertainty of her fate. Stacy's disappearance was just one in a long line of cases that have puzzled investigators and sparked widespread concern about safety in state parks. From the dense forests of the Pacific Northwest 
to the rugged terrain of the Appalachian Mountains, individuals have vanished under eerily similar circumstances, often while hiking alone or venturing off trail into remote areas. One theory that has been put forward to explain these disappearances is the phenomenon known as the Missing 411. Coined by the former police officer turned investigative journalist David Polides, the term refers to a series of mysterious vanishings that share striking similarities. Victims often disappear in clusters, near bodies of water, or in areas with a history of strange occurrences. Polides had spent years researching these cases, uncovering patterns and connections that seemed to defy rational explanation. In many instances, victims are found missing clothing or shoes, their bodies discovered miles away from where they were last seen, and in some cases, their remains are never found at all. But perhaps the most chilling aspect of the missing 411 phenomenon is the presence of strange and unexplained clues surrounding the disappearances. Some victims are found with injuries that defy logical explanation, while others vanish without a trace, leaving behind no evidence of their whereabouts or what may have happened to them. Despite the efforts of law enforcement and search and rescue teams, the truth behind these disappearances remains elusive. Families are left with the uncertainty of not knowing what became of their loved ones, while investigators are left scratching their heads in search of answers. As the years go by, the mysteries of the missing 411 continue to haunt state parks across the country. From the dense forests of the Adirondacks to the rugged wilderness of Yellowstone, the disappearances serve as a sobering reminder of the dangers that lurk in nature. But amid the darkness, there is also hope. Hope that one day, the truth behind these baffling vanishings will be uncovered, and the families of the missing will finally find the closure they so desperately seek.